we just discussed what will happen when this coil is positioned like this and the current is passed through this right now let us try to see what happens when after 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 we, we saw that there will be a torque that will move it looking from here in this direction if, if we look in this direction it will move counterclockwise right <coughs> now as it moves right as it moves the m which was currently pointing downwards right pointing downwards that will that will start turning right so so this starts turning like this so 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 this whole thing this whole thing it starts turning like that right from below from uh, from pointing vertically downwards it starts pointing okay. it starts moving counterclockwise right so so it it tends to to come towards this right so so it it, it moves like this now what happens what if the angle between this and this is equal to theta right so so that is what we will see next so so what if if this whole thing right this m has turned right so so let's try to understand let's try to understand this has gone gone like that so so this part of the coil will go down and this part of the coil will go up right so so it will go something like that correct and, and this end comes here so 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 it goes something like this right and and something like this right right do we understand and that is what is shown here so so this was my original this was my original axis of rotation this was my axis of rotation okay this so this was my axis of rotation right correct mm -hmm. and the coil which was earlier positioned something like this something like this has undergone something like 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 this has okay this has undergone slight rotation and is positioned the way you are seeing it here right so so this thing actually flipped down this came up and that's how you get this fine now in this I, I, I'm again kind of undoing whatever I did. Okay, that was that was kind of a mess. Okay, so so I, I'll leave this axis of rotation, and, and and the turn is kind of this. We saw that earlier. It is turning like that. Fine. Now in this case, this is making an angle of theta with the with the with the with the horizontal direction of b right so the b the b was in this direction so so this is the direction of the b right from the north pole to the south pole correct so it is it is something like this it is something like this right now let us try to understand the torques in this situation right this is what has happened right so it, from from this horizontal position it's flipped down this has come like this this is this is making an angle of of theta this is slightly wrong right in 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 the sense that in the sense that in the sense that that this should have been at 90 degree to this right do we see that okay this should have been 90 degree to that so so let me kind of see if something can be done let me sort of remove it uh, 
system. Let's say trades. Trades. Let us say if I remove it, can I kind of paint it white? Right? Then something can be done. Okay. Fine. So, so it's something like this, and and you have, and we have, we have the M at ninety degree to this, right? Because because the coil has. Because because this is perpendicular to the coil, right? This is perpendicular to the coil. So I kind of overdid it, it seems. Looks like 90 degrees. Fine, I'll leave it at that. Okay. So this is the direction of M. Let's see what happens. This angle is, is theta. This angle is theta, right? And okay, this is the direction of V. Okay. Now we'll try to find out the torque uh, and, and kind of let me do away with this. This is not required. Right, so, 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 what happens if this is theta and this is perpendicular, then this has to be how much? This has to be? 90 minus theta. This has to be 90 minus theta right this has to be 90 minus theta fine and, and and same with this this also is 90 minus theta right now what is what is the torque the torque is the torque is is r cross f and and that also makes it Either R perpendicular into F, right? So, so uh, uh, if if I if I talk about the magnitude, then this is also R perpendicular into F, or R into F perpendicular, right? These are two easy ways of understanding the torque. <coughs> These are two ways of understanding the torque, right? So, so R perpendicular is what? If you if you take the line of the force, so so this is the line of the force, right? This is the line of the force. If if you take the line of the force, okay? So so if I kind of take this and and do this, this is the line of action of the force, right? Similarly here, if if I if I if I take it here, this is the line of action of the force. What do you mean by R perpendicular? R perpendicular is the perpendicular distance of the line of action of the force from the axis of rotation which is this right since we are looking looking like that since we are we are, we are looking looking like this 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 is the axis of rotation this looks as a dot we, we are we are looking from here so so we are looking from from here right so here like that so this is this acts like a dot fine so so what happens is what is this distance if this is a by 2 because this whole thing was a so so it has rotated this is a by 2 a by 2 cos of this angle cos of this angle and this angle is 
so 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 this length this length say say let me let me call it o let me call this this as p then what is op op is equal to is equal to a by 2 a by 2 cos 90 minus theta and cos 90 minus theta is what a by 2 sin theta correct same with this okay same with this this is also a by 2 this is also a by 2 okay this is also a by 2 sin theta so the torque is okay so so one of the torques is what it is r a uh, perpendicular that is a by 2 sin theta into the force f1 right and the other torque is a by 2 sin theta okay this distance multiplied by f2 okay and the sense of both the torques so so if if you keep this hinged and try to pull it like this the the movement is the movement is 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 this if 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 you pull it like this the movement is kind of this if if you pull it down and if you pull it up the movement is again this so they are actually supporting torques so they'll add up okay but i'd like you to go through the proper definition right this is a quick way of understanding that but if you, if you say that this is your this is your r right this is your r in the black right so so if this is your r this is your r and and your f for you i, I i'll shift it here so r cross f comes towards you isn't it r cross f r cross f comes towards you isn't it r cross f comes towards you is it not and and if you do the same thing here that means you shift this f here right so what happens the r cross f r cross f again comes out and then add up correct because here the r is r is this from here to here right here to till here right so both of them come towards you and they are additive correct so you just said uh, supporting torque what what do you mean by support the, the support that, that means they are that they are acting in the same direction so they do have a uh, like they do exist on their own right no they do exist on their own but they are assisting each other that that means if this is trying to move it counter clockwise this is also trying to move it counter clockwise so it, it only helps it doesn't have a role of its own of its own no it has a role of uh, it has a role of its own yes e even if suppose somehow you you kind of remove this for for a moment right this conductor still this will kind of move it counter clockwise yes that's a different thing that that removing this conductor will kind of break the circuit how will the current flow that those those things are different mm -hmm. but somehow if you are able to flow current only through this then to it will kind of hold and and there will be a torque on its own right by supporting i had mean that they'll add up right that that is the only thing so 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 f1 and f2 and and after they have moved in the field let us try to understand what these forces are so do these forces remain the same so so now you are you are kind of like that right so b remains the same the i remains the same and the length of the conductor remains the same so f1 and f2 also remain the same they are i l b right understand so they are i l b so f1 and f2 do not change somehow okay the the f1 and f2 they do not change so so what is my f1 my my f1 is my f1 is what it is i into l that is b the length is b into b now you might have have certain confusion whether b is still at 90 degree to the length of the conductor what do you think in this fashion in this fashion 
is is this conductor still at 90 degrees to the to the field no yes yes it is it is a radius this has gone down this has gone down this has gone come up but but you see as it is moving moving like this the field is horizontal right Field, field, field direction remains the same mm -hmm. and you are kind of moving like this in this field so at all all the points at, at all these points this is still at 90 degrees right so so that has not changed somehow so your f1 and f2 are i b capital b right that and so the total torque, total torque will be the total torque is is tau one plus tau two, and, and they add up to give you a upon two sine theta theta. I I, I call both of them as f, right? So sine theta f plus a by two sine theta. F and, and that gives us a sine theta f, right? Now what is f? F is I B B. So so I B B. Okay, into into a, right? So 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 this f was this. A is still there, and there is a sine theta, and and there is an I a okay into b into sine theta correct and if this is for for single turn right what if there is a multi turn for multi turn for multi turn it is something like that so 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 your torque is equal to n times i i a right and now it has to be cross because because you see that these two i'll, I'll again draw it this this is the this this is the point o right this is the point o now you have the b kind of like that okay and and you have this is your b and then you have an m and you have an m and you have this angle theta now that very readily straight away tells you tells you that that this this m is nothing but n i a okay don't, don't don't forget that and it that right hand rule still holds correct that we had decided so so it is again going like this so if if you if you curl the the fingers of your hand like that right like that so so somehow like that so, so okay like that then 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 the then the then the thumb is 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 bound to kind of point like this point point like like this and this is the direction of that m that we had shown right so 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 for multi turn it is this and we can very well say and and where is the torque directed the torque it is towards us so m has to go on to b so in this case as well we see that that my torque is that my torque is is m cross b correct right here too the torque is m cross b hmm. Now I told you that now 
what happens to the overhangs? The, they, they're called overhangs technically. So the direction here will be anti clockwise, No, the, the torque is like the direction of the torque is towards you only, right? So it, it will be anti clockwise. So no, no, no. It is, it's moving anti clockwise. Yeah. But the direction of the it's, torque is towards you. Words, yeah. Okay? Okay? The two very important things. Uh, so what happens now? They are, they are, th this torque is not kind of th th this part is not at an angle of 90 degrees, right? So it is making some angle now. Now it is something like this. Looking looking from here, it is kind of this, and there is a B which goes like that, right? The B goes like that. So if you shift that and try to find out i l, this is the direction of i, right? This is the direction of, of i. i is not a vector, okay? i is not a vector. So, so you can say that is the direction of l. Now i is that l cross b. l cross b is in what direction? You understand? This is in the plane. This is in the same plane. So l cross b is into the paper, isn't it? l cross b is into the paper like that right mm -hmm. and at this end we have this part of the wire so so this part of the wire and here the currents in, in this is like that and in this also it is like that so i can very safely say that current is like that the direction of the field still remains the same still remains the same which is this okay so 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 you could say that they are co-initial i l cross b is kind of towards us right it's towards us you see out of the screen this is this is into the screen this is out of the this is which side? screen towards us and this is into the screen so what happens and they have the same value so there is kind of a, a tug of war with equal forces so there is no net force on this they are under uh, they, they, they'll try to come out of the slot okay the, that, that force will be there but due to that there is no net force on the on the whole thing so while designing while designing you have to understand that there is the tendency of this wire the, to get out of the slot suddenly mm. okay that might get out of the slot if you have not tied it up properly right so these are very well tied up the way they are the way when they are they are be, being wound right so these, these forces are there if it is uh, if it pops out won't it, uh, no if it pops out then it will get entangled in the whole process and the whole motor will kind of get burnt you know if, if it comes out and gets entangled then the whole thing gets pulled out it may get broken and that's the end of the motor right bc also huh bc bc what bc, BC side the like ah uh -huh. this, this yeah. is the this is the bc side yes this is the bc side and this is the the point a this is the point b yeah. Here I have just connected it. I have not shown this, this disconnect, right? Correct? That is one. Now there is another thing that you should also understand and that is interesting. After this whole thing is kind of vertical. Okay, so so let me kind of erase this and, and, and show you a fresh on this very diagram. So so let me erase this. Okay. Let me erase all this. I'll show you the whole whole movement and why do you need these split frames, right? Why why, why do you use that? You, you'll soon understand. Now what happens, this has started on its journey downward, this has started on its journey all, uh, all, uh, upward and, and looking from this side, you see the whole thing rotating counterclockwise. Fine? 
Now what happens is a time comes when the coil becomes exactly vertical. So what happens? This this whole thing, this whole thing goes down and this comes up. So it starts looking something like this. It starts looking something like this. Hold on. Okay. You understand? This coil comes like this. It goes down and kind of it's like that and this goes and gets connected like that. Do you see that? What happens then? Then this this split ring that is kind of like this. No? Because they are rotating together. And at this split ring is kind of this, right? I'm just showing the orientation. Don't don't ever feel that it has come out of the slot and kind of started hurting this brush. No. Okay, so so it, it, it has gone like that, right? Now it has to swing after this point. So so this will be the point where where it will be touching both these points, right? The 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 brush for some instant touches both these and one of these is connected to one of the split rings is, is slip rings is connected to connected to a positive and another is connected to a negative so technically what happens this brush for momentarily shorts these two rings and there is a spark okay there is a spark and the attendant heating kind of starts degrading this brush you just cannot avoid it here in a in a DC motor. This is a DC motor, okay? This the, the thing that we are discussing is a DC motor. And and that is one of the disadvantages of the DC motor. That gradually the brush starts degrading and there are power losses due to the sparks in between. Right? So what is the difference between a DC and an AC? Input? Here in an AC this input would have because you are giving this input. You do not even know anything about this whole thing, right? So if you if you give a DC input, you take the plug and, and you just switch it on. So or, or, or maybe kind of you you kind of do this. There, there is a switch that you that you simply put on, right? So on your board you have a you, you had a switch like that. Okay, which you have put on and it becomes something like like this right this is switched on this is what this is what has happened this is what has happened this is switched on correct right? this this is a dc okay then only this this can happen if, if it was an ac things will be different and there are ac motors and they are more efficient they are better motors than dc motors but DC motors have their own advantages, but but we do not need to go into all these. Okay. Direction change with the okay. But now what happens? Now what happens? This wire, this wire, the, the wire on the left hand side, this has gone down. And the wires on the right hand side has gone up. It is there, right? The right hand wire is there and then the left hand side wire is, has gone down. Now what happens? This kind of comes to your right it starts to become the right hand wire okay now you should understand one thing very very clearly that that here it was carrying okay here it was carrying current in this direction so so let us say it is still carrying current in this direction right and and this and this wire, the upper wire, which was the right hand wire, that is carrying a current in this direction. No? Now, if you have any, if you have any possibility of the whole thing going round and round, you know that the moment it comes from here to here, towards the right, it should get, it should get a current in in 
this direction in in this direction okay in this direction because until and unless the right hand wire gets current in this direction this direction it will not have a torque that will be upwards okay so if you are not able to flip the direction of the current and, and and this when it goes to the left to the left it should have a current in 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 this direction right F from you towards moving from you into the screen while the current here is still coming towards you right until and unless the current goes away from you on the left hand wire and until and unless the current comes towards you on the right hand wire the the kind of counter clockwise rotation will be disturbed if that is not the case so the moment it flips here you see what happens you see what happens so so i i'll i'll kind of slightly erase this the split ring right the split ring <coughs> what happens is this split ring this split ring kind of now now they are something like that right so so they are like that so so this split ring which was now connected with the split ring which was now connected with both will suddenly come like this right come like this and this split ring which was connected with both will will get connected to this split ring get that the moment that happens this this brush has a negative negative terminal attached to it this brush has a positive terminal attached to it the moment this split ring gets connected to the positive one the current that is coming like this right C coming like this that kind of flips this direction so so this direction gets reversed it does not it no longer comes towards you rather it goes away from you so 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 this goes away and, and the direction is like that similarly this is negatively connected uh, connected to the negative this thing okay and and this current which was going like that will now start start coming back like this so you understand why we use this split ring okay why we have split the ring just so that after every half rotation it keeps on flipping the direction of the current if that does not happen then you know what will happen the motor will go like that and again swing back like this it will no longer be a motor in a continuous motion right it will keep on going like this and this and this and this and maybe due to friction after some time settle now understand okay so to have a continuous motion you need to change the direction of current every half cycle and that is what is getting achieved by just splitting the ring a very simple solution to to something that would have otherwise felt like a like a very difficult problem correct and and this will keep on happening apart from that small transition spark that you'll get and there is no way to avoid it this works pretty fine but then there is a headache of changing these brushes every every now and then but they are still used because dc motors can be can be designed to have very high torque very high torque when there is no current so they are normally a dc dc series motors don't don't get rattled by this this is the domain of electrical engineering but still dc series motors they are used in in the railways so all the railway motors are dc series motors so in spite of all the all the chaos that you encounter while attending them so you have the you have the use of these motors in in industries where you need very high torques to start with right this very high starting tones. Fine.